Mark, thank you. It was a big night for supporters of medical marijuana as Amendment 2 passed in Florida. It'll now broaden access for diseases with symptoms other than seizures or spasms. After coming up short of the 60% required to pass it back in 2014, Amendment 2 collected 71% of the vote last night. One of the biggest proponents of Amendment 2, Orlando Attorney John Morgan. New 6's Troy Campbell joins us live from Morgan's office. And Troy, the Morgans have been fighting for this a long time. We just spoke with John Morgan and he said he estimates that he spent of his own money between eight and nine million dollars to get this passed here in 2016. Right away he reflected on how different his speech was two years ago when it failed to pass. He said since then they were better prepared. They changed some of the wording that the opposition claimed were loopholes on it. Another big um, issue with it is he said voter turnout. He said in 2014 in South Florida, specifically Miami-Dade, um, County. They had very low support there, and he said they had record turnout with this vote. Again, passing at 71 percent. They only needed 60. 2014, they almost got to 58 percent. They also say that that's the highest percentage of any medical marijuana bill anywhere in the United States voting. Now they say hundreds of thousands of people in Florida will benefit off of medicinal cannabis. And he says, John Morgan says, the reason why he tried again in 2016 after failing to pass it in 2014 was because people kept coming up to him, asking him to not give up. Take a listen. So we are extremely pleased. This crossed a, cr a whole bunch of different lines, Republicans, independents, uh, the, our opposition, their arguments were weak at best. They worked last time. They didn't work this time. And now the medical marijuana amendment, it's expected to be taken up in the next session in Tallahassee, where legislatures will have to figure out the best way to implement it. And they say John Morgan doesn't expect any medical marijuana to actually be accessible to people who qualify till at least 2018, figuring out the infrastructure of just how it will actually roll out. And they say as of right now, they predict about 500,000 Floridians will qualify for medical marijuana. Under this newly passed amendment. Bridget, Justin.